we think our educational system needs to have all ideas on the table to help us achieve the president's goals of increasing the rate of go uh, college graduates, improving our focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to achieve those goals. It's hard to imagine a scenario that doesn't take advantage of today's rich uh, digital media environment. I am a huge fan, as is our president, to scientific and technological advancement through our nation's leading research universities, our federal labs, and other scientific and technological assets. As you can imagine, today we're seeing a whole range of, of creativity and innovation taking place in how we incorporate uh, new digital media components into an educational experience. In November of this past year, the President stood in the White House in front of this first robotics device built by the kids to celebrate science, technology, <coughs> engineering, and mathematics. And in particular, the birth of an initiative called Educate to Innovate, whose simple premise is that in our country, to be globally competitive, we need an all-hands-on-deck approach to ensuring that our young people are learning what they need to learn so that they can build those jobs and industries of the future. We need to do more in the research area to see what works and what doesn't. We need to see more uh, innovation and standards so that ideas on certain dimensions can be incorporated into the classroom in a frictionless way. Uh, we hope the National EdTech Plan is spurring that conversation in communities all across the country. Our administration is trying to embrace these principles even in a tight fiscal environment where you're not going to see a lot of resources. It points to a new Washington, one that is focused on results, in the president's words, a government that works. There are some challenges in how do you bring uh, new content into the classroom, and especially in an environment where you have such limited time given all the other constraints in the class. But the second question is how do you take advantage of the 24 by 7 approach to learning? That actually was a very explicit chapter in the National EdTech Plan, and we do see innovations in mobile learning and other platforms so that folks can complement what's happening in the school to help advance their child's uh, uh, future. So uh, the, ch the opportunities are limitless.